Welkom bij nog een episode van Restaurante Toe. Ons is vanavond in Pretoria, maar mij sal nooit so sê nie. Soos wat Turkije die brug is tussen Europa en Azië, so is alle Turk by die Yara Kasteel in Pretoria wel die brug tussen Pretoria en Turkije. Als jy my uitvalt, verkies ek soms die landbaat, verteek jy met die koffie, Waar jy sit en aan my hand vat Wanneer jy tip tip in my oor staan Met die kerstlucht tussen ons Wat het my terug laat daar die dag Toe ek vir die oomlik nie kon glo Het jy my asem weg Hello, Goka. Nice to meet you. How are you doing? Welcome. Thank you very much. How are you? Thank you for having us in this absolute fairy tale of a Glad. place. Goka, am I saying it the right way? Goka. That is perfect. That is Gokka. perfect. Yes. Um, we'll see, I see Gerard Butler from, from, from Alaturka. We said we, we say that you look like Gerard Butler. Is that a, is that a, do you know who that is? I appreciate. <laughs> you appreciate. Is that right? Yeah, that's a All good right. thing. That's good. Thank you very much. <laughs> Please tell us. I'm in such awe. There's so much to see here. The moment we got here, we took a little tour. There's all these private rooms and little alleyways to walk. Well, this is a castle. Um, so, where did this originate? Where did this come from? Um, where, did this, where did the journey to to this beautiful place start? Yes, um, I may say the building was existing, a part of it. Um, I believe the main building was start to build 12, 13 years ago. But uh, the previous owner started to build part here and part there. Nothing was complete, yes. and we did want to take the place desperately. Yes. When I met my wife first time, she drove something. It wasn't even two months we met. She says, okay, this is what we're gonna build one day. Are you in? I said, all right. A woman with a vision. It's not, yes, like a it. woman more than a vision. <laughs> definitely, when I say something else. And uh, we did actually drove this place. When you look from the highway, the palm trees, small side cats, everything was drawn. Yes, I, mean, I must admit, we drive, you know, I live here, so you drive past this, this building all the time, you think, well, what's happening with it? I hope someone does something beautiful with it, and you absolutely have. But you've come from, from, from uh, the north of Pretoria, or, or were you somewhere else before you before you bought this place? Uh, we were in Irene Village Mall, if I yes. may say the uh, all right. name. Yes. Uh, we started, the first place was uh, a small, small 70, 75 seater restaurant. Five years later, before we sign a new contract, we said, what must we do? Should we go home or go bigger? And at that moment, Irony Village Mall came to our uh, path. And it yes. was more than 200 seater restaurant, from 75 seater to 200 and more seater restaurant. It was a, a bit challenge and it was a busy time of the year, but we made it. Yes. A couple of people yes. wanted to kill me <laughs> because of the delay, the food is not going out no. in 20 minutes, 30 minutes. They want to kill me, I may say. <laughs> yes, but didn't but you happen. handled it well. Yes. Yep. And after that, um, as I say, we approached the person and uh, finally we did make a deal to get the place and start to finish it. It's more than two and a half years now and the restaurant is operating maybe five months. So this was your vision? This was the vision? You and your wife, you're the owners, right? You and Nisa? Yes, we family. are two of us, uh, Haji Suleiman family. Yes. As, uh, they must say, not Haji Suleiman, they cannot pronounce it. Okay. Afrikaans clients, they say no, I can't it's, Neyman. It's, Neyman. it's the most similar or yeah. most uh, Yes, that's right. <laughs> that's uh, the connection you'll that. make. Yes. Yes. Um, we are trying we we trying to accommodate this uh, the guests with this place as their second home. Yeah, well, as their second house. That's, that's right. Because like, yeah. you, you have you you are planning to do a large year eventually, am I right? Or in, is it not in your in time. In time. Okay. In time, yes. We we got the uh, third property here. Now we are on thirty thousand square meter. The spa, health spa, day spa. Yes. With the Turkish bath. I wanted to ask you about it that is, so people can come It is nearly spa. ready. We have eight treatment rooms. Uh, 
मेरे के ऊपर कि उस पर सावना जिम लेडीज मैं चेंज रूम एवरीथिंग इज नीले दान ऑन द नाइन्टी परसेंट वी आर और मोर एंड आई हर्ड अलग बेडी वेस्ट पर दैट यू माइट बी ओपनिंग अ लिटिल फिट Yes. Is that the tree? Is it also busy in the making, or is it already is it already done? It is. Uh, we can say let's give us seven months. Seven months. Seven months. For live from music. Now on. Uh, live bands. Live bands. Yes. Okay. We're planning different shows. I don't want to tell you, but I cannot yes. keep it secret. <laughs> when I said doesn't like it, we're gonna have maybe uh, not maybe gladiator shows, gladiator fights. Oh, uh, we're, we're gonna bring the fighters from Turkey. We already dealing with the gladiator uh, school. In Turkey, it's gonna be um, bands, singers, yes. oh, dancers. Yes, yeah. amazing. You, you have so many private little rooms here for so you, like if people want to come have birthdays and I mean I think I saw three or four on the way. It was like a big table and it's yes. all private and you can yes. come and have your birthday or you do weddings here as well. So please tell us a little bit more about it, your function. It was yes, um, bachelors they are popular. All right, but the first reason it's, to build those. Private rooms was uh, for the people who doesn't pay the bill. <laughs> it was built for dungeon. It, yes, they can't get away. Yes, we torture them inside uh, <laughs> until we get the money. Uh, it's, it's a joke. Yes, the ladies love it yes. mostly, and yes. the men. So nobody sees what they do. Bachelor parties. Yes. In Turkey, we have it very, very in, uh, innocent, yes. decent parties. I get you. Here, yes. we don't know what is happening. We close the door. <laughs> And what it's at, what, what knows, happens yes. at, at the Alla Turk stays at stays in, Alla Turk. Ex I love I'm it. planning to have my birthday. Yeah, it. I'm coming for my birthday. I'm doing it. Absolutely, I've made up my mind. Oh yeah, I was wondering where am I going to do it? This is going to be the place. Absolutely, we, we will make it. We Please tell me it. about your menu yes. because I can't, well, pronounce half of these things. You've got the hot mezza starters, but the the names are interesting. You've got um, your main course. Where did I see it's, it? Uh, the Billy. What's the Billy Dancer? The Billy Dancer set menu, which is great. You've got the Istanbul menu, the Gypsy yes. set menu. Please tell well us and me a bit more about about this because I'm um, uneducated when it comes to Turkish food. Is set menus. Um, when we saw our first kitchen was like 25 square meter. You're the chef, right? You're, or yes. Or you one of the chefs? I'm the chef. The, the I'm chef. the guy training the people yes. to be part of the team. We are very particular who is going to be in the team. Uh, how we came with the set menus? Uh, the kitchen was very small to accommodate. When I was on the floor taking all the orders from um, our first restaurant, and I was in the kitchen with two people, and I said, "Okay, on the first month, that is gonna be tough yes. if we are only a la carte." Then we said, "Okay, we have the set menus, make it um, affordable, yes. and um, gives the guests to choose." Okay. From starter to main course yeah. and to the finish, to the finale. Yeah, this, this food, it's so confusing. So it's, it's maybe better sometimes to have it set out for you, so you can like, kind of just choose. It. It's a little bit simpler for people who don't know what they're yes. getting. It's also, it was it was one of the reasons. Guests arrive, our clients say, "Okay, you decide what we eat." And I say, "All right, you look like you eat a lot. This is the menu for you. <laughs> this is the you. better than set menu. I think you are all uh, gym people. Yes, all right, this yes. is the this one is for you. Yes. Oh, that's so interesting." It's, it was. It, it, the main obviously, it takes some time to train people to make all this food if they don't know it, if that's part of their culture. It doesn't take too long. It takes two, three, two, three years. Oh, that's, that's, that's some time. No. <laughs> it takes a lot. Yellow night, not even. Welcome back to the break by Aller Turk Restaurant. It's really, yes. it's, like, it's, it's, it's like you're part of a, as I'm sitting here, it feels like I'm in Turkey. I mean, that's obviously the vibe that you want. What, what do you want people to experience when they come here? Festivity, privacy, a, a mix of the two? What would you, if I walk out of here, what would you have liked me to feel tonight? What would make me come back again? What is special? As, besides that it's so beautiful, but it's what, what do you want Thank people you. to experience here? Um, number one rule, nobody's customer. We greet and treat them as guests. It's the main policy yes. rules and regulations number one all right sorry for my <laughs> no English. that's fine that's fine uh, they must um, number two rule is um, 
what we serve in the plate. We must love it. I must love it. My wife must love it. It must be the way it should be. I cannot cut here and the, the test must be and you must believe the way in the we product love it. Yes, Absolutely. that is the trick. Yes. It's between us. That is the trick. That is the trick. Loving what you're doing and loving the test of what you're doing and giving them a great experience. Uh, of course, it becomes for our first timers educational uh, a trip. Yes, absolutely. Fly them out without airplane, <laughs> without passport needed, <laughs> yes. and they don't need to bring a uh, briefcase or suitcase. Exactly, exactly. Fly out, go to Middle East, let's say. Yes. I don't want to say only Turkish restaurant. All right. Because very That's similar. Important. Okay. Turkish food, Greek food, Greek Lebanese. Food. It is very similar. Uh, they, they made a great cuisine. Uh, just using the combination make people love it. And now, I for one, like living in Pretoria, I have never in my life, or not even in the outskirts, not even Joburg, I've seen, have seen something like this in my life. I was, I was pleasantly surprised when I walked through your doors. So I can't wait to taste a bit of your food. Um, what, right. what dish out of all of these amazing dishes would you think is your signature dish? What, what makes you proud? Um, number one. Look, the menu is not very big. I can say number one, number two, number three. Okay. If I go to number 10, the menu is over. We okay. tried uh, different dishes and we stay stuck with the, what um, South Africa likes actually. Yes. And uh, what is the, they like meat. Yeah, absolutely. I can say that. Meat eaters all the yes. way, that's true. And, and then we combine it with the vegetables, maybe they don't even touch. Yes. But when it goes to the dish with the meat, like uh, aubergine, and absolutely. I know they love it, but no, but it's, I think I'm, I'm part of South Africans that way in the past few years, the, the palate has changed. Like they don't eat the same stuff all the time. People are actually very open to the youngsters that grow up now are, are actually keen to try new stuff. So I think I think that's a great thing when you can sit here. There's something for everybody and not something that your grandmother used to make and that you have to eat. You know what I mean? To you You're and right. Vanessa, thank you so much for having us here. It's our pleasure. It's really been lovely. Always welcome. Dat is te veel om te sê en te min tyd. Ons gaan saam met Gaga nou en die kom wijskeier en sien wat hulle hierby um, a la Turka vir ons aan mekaar gaan sit. Ek kan nie, wacht nie. Ons keier by um, a la Turka vanavond en ons probeer vir julle elke week iets leer of iets niets leer van kost wat ons meer bekend is en um, gemakkelijk is. En hierdie week is ek wat julle is. Ek leer ook iets nies wat van die voor my aangaan weet ek verskrikkelijk min. Look, I was just telling people at home that I'm also learning tonight. This is stuff that I don't know a lot about, um, but I love spicy food. You're going to take us on something that's very traditional to Turkey, on a on a Turkey spice um, journey. Am I right? Yes, because all right. Spice where do we market. start? Spice market. Yes, let's okay. go spice market. It looks beautiful and lovely. Um, where, where do we start? It, with it this? was used for training, as you may know uh, in the history. Uh, all the spices. We we are not very. Um, deep to spices but we cannot live without them yeah. and there are the basic stuff we use uh, oregano is very important cumin is very important chili is like from breakfast lunch dinner if you have midnight buffet chili is everywhere all right uh, not like killer what I one get. not killer hot yes um, also uh, we use nutmeg all yeah. nutmeg uh, i have some crushed also um, paprika right. not too hot medium uh, pistachio is also in the cooking okay. uh, from soup to the dessert. We use a lot of pistachios and uh, black pepper, salt, uh, sumac is sumac is used mostly in the um, salad dishes. It is like the replacement or companion to the lemon. It's a sour uh, spice. What I would like to do, I would like to put a bit of everything in the plate, the and best way taste. of tasting. All yes. right, I'm going on a journey I will, now. Yes. Um, I would go start with uh, sumac. sumac. Yes, let's keep our pizza in the back. Some cumin. It's like uh, painters uses like a palette. A palette. palette. Yes, that right. is the taste palette of wow. taste. Some I put some um, cinnamon. Right. Some pistachio, paprika. And we go for a little bit nutmeg, it is very strong, so I'll not kill ourselves with the taste. And some roasted chili, this oh, is good. Games with me already, great. And oregano, right. what I will do, just throw a bit salt around. And 
olive oil. Olive oil. This is where I'm create excited. your My taste like watering. creating your colors. That is basically. Hmm, my mouth is also Yeah, mine too. Mine uh, well. uh, Absolutely. How does it look? It looks beautiful. Exciting. Please, have a piece of All right. pizza. Make sure it dips. Just go like this. All right. Like that. Yes. <laughs> beautiful. I'm trying to taste everything individually, which is not going to happen. That is absolutely amazing. What am I tasting? Nutmeg. What is coming out now? It's very strong. Mm. Yes, you will catch it. The rest will come in time. Or some of them, you uh, your tongue catches first. Yes. And then later, it's going to go to your palate. Getting a bit of a bite. It's different. I want to taste. I want to taste the sumac on its Definitely. own. Definitely. Just like is this. Is that it's something I don't know? I will. Here. Thank you. Pleasure. May I just? Yeah, go for it. Should we change the plates? Would you like to uh, mix it yourself? I'm going to mix it myself. I'll take a little bit of oil. All right. Right. I want to taste that on its own. I don't know it at all. Too we're going to use it in our um, salad dish now. We're going to make it is one of my favorites since I was small. I really like that. It's actually great. Use that in salad, you said now, okay. Uh, in Turkey, we use it for in salads. In Iran, in Syria, they also use it in main course dishes. It's uh, the Middle East cuisine is very close to each other. Beautiful. What differs how much and when we use the spices. Okay. Before cooking, after cooking, during eating, that makes big difference on the dish and the oh, taste. Right, the sumak is amazing. Sumak means, apparently. <laughs> Welcome terug naar die break. Ons keier by um, alle Turka vanavond en ons probeer vir julle elke week iets leer of ietsie niets leer van kos wat ons meer bekend is en um, gemakkelijk is. En hierdie week is ek wat julle is. Ek leer ook iets nies wat van die voor my aangaan weet ek verskrikkelijk min. Just tell me, where do you buy all these spices? All the spices, actually, they're having a big trip. A couple times I was stopped at the airport oh. because of that and my mother, uh, the way oregano looks. Um, yes, it was a problem. <laughs> is, um, they all come from Turkey. From Turkey. Uh, to catch the correct taste, I had to bring from Turkey. I tried here, they mustn't get me wrong, the main, uh, the local suppliers, but I had to, yeah, I had to use my... original to your country. Yes, so I'm used to, to that. Uh, yes. So, my mother and my brother, whenever I speak, they say, do you need spices? <laughs> it's just, sometimes I don't need, I say, yes, I need it. I need, I need spices. When I miss them, it's like, so you I let her spice. go through all the like. <laughs> I have to finish all of them, yes, basically. Well, how long have you been in South Africa? Um, I came here in 2000, October. I say, actually, it's not it's, too long ago. Yes. Yeah. Nearly for oh, we're so glad 13, you did. 14 years. To bring us all these it's, beautiful um, things from Turkey. Thank you very much. We're so glad you're here. <laughs> I'm, I'm glad too. What salad are you going to be making for us? Uh, you are going to be making the salad. It's going to be the brinjal salad. Okay. Uh, Ball first, I see. Need the ball first, please, <laughs> yes. Now I'll just push this straight a bit. This is our presentation plate. Great we're going stuff. to what mix everything. Um, we're going to take, what would you like to start with? Tomato, parsley, we have onion, right. and a brinjal, lemon juice, olive oil, garlic, and some nice fresh rockets. Okay. Um, the rocket we're just going to put on top a little bit. All right. Um, brinjal some first. brinjals to the okay. bowl, please. Will you tell me, do I put all of them? You, you may put just half of it half because. Of it. Uh, Ball is not going to take all the ingredients. Wait more! Yeah, it's, it's your kitchen <laughs> right now. No, 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 that's where you make the mistake. Alright, what's next? Some tomatoes, Some tomato. please. Also they are not hard? fine chopped, yes. Uh, we but try I like to it that way, it's actually yes. prettier. Uh, more chunky, not too big, not too small. Okay, yes. also half of it? Let's go halfway. All right. So, fine. Why Why do you keep the tomatoes chunky like this? Um, I don't like to take the seeds out. I like to keep uh, the skin on and uh, more chunky uh, the, to catch the taste to catch the taste, taste in the it. palate yes um, I, I like the look uh, of it as well I just think it looks fresher and just same 
uh, yes, same with the uh, parsley. If you notice, please let's go. All right, parsley. Uh, we can go ahead with the parsley. I don't like to chop it finer, uh, then it starts to lose its taste. Okay. Or it starts to get a uh, funny taste to it. So All right. There's one, two, three. It's <laughs> That's enough. Done. Yes. Also half of this? As much as you like. We use a lot of parsley as right. vitamin C. It is it is a companion to from seafood to meat to any meat I believe. To everything. And some onion, please may help you. Yeah, sure. And how much you awesome. to half. taste? Half. To taste or if uh, uh, most of our guests, uh, clients comes to Ala Turka, they say, I don't want garlic, I don't want onion. onion exactly. Next time they come and they say, I want the garlic and onion double. And right. some garlic. Thank you. Easier. Well, I Pleasure. Also do taste, I that like is, a lot of that. Just a little bit? It's great. Is, yes. that, is that fine? That is or great. more? You must tell me. Mm -hmm. I'm learning as I go along here. They cannot smell from the screen. No. Beautiful. I'm going to learn a little bit more because I like it. <laughs> And some olive oil. oil. I'm gonna help you with this one. You can go for it. That's great. You're gonna get your big spoon, you're gonna start to stir it. What else we have? Is, is there great? a particular way of doing this or can I just stir, stir it? it? You it's can use the other like spoon that. also. All right, Perfect. Nice. Lemon juice. Yes. I'm ready for the lemon juice Perfect. while you mix it. Okay. That is great. It is always good to put the lemon juice and the salt and the garlic. Yeah, Especially yeah. salt. Yes. Just put. Yes. We cannot take it out, but we can add always more. Because I think people overcomplicate food. It's actually it's it's so simple. It's just to get the, the correct flavors together. That's it. And we always here's tend a, to put too much in. Here's that's, a plate. Would you like to? That's you going to be doing. <laughs> no, no, just just go ahead. That is the that is no. After you, uh, of it's a working for hours preparing in the kitchen. Uh, the it's called mise en place, preparing all the vegetables and the fruit small chopped uh, garlic, onion, tomatoes, and then you cook it is the best part, the most uh, satisfying part of the uh, kitchen, actually, uh, okay. doing the presentation. Yes. Put it in the plate, and then it goes out, and I just sneak out the kitchen. I look at the people, I go, oh, and I watch their face. That is the most satisfying one. It takes everything away. It is the it's like, it's best like the silence before the storm. It's like, I, I think people put so much time into it. They're so beautiful. And then we just eat. We don't appreciate what it looks like on, yes. on your plate. I think you must have a, just a moment and look at it. Mens, a mond kan nie genoeg kry van hierdie ongelooflike spisserij en die van belly dancing. En daar is soveel om te sien hier, so by alle Turka restaurant. As jy nie harkie van Turkije wilt keier, maar net al een klip gooi van Pretoria af, is hierdie die plek om te wees. Goka, you and Vanessa, thank you again so much. I want you to give people a message at home uh, and tell them good night and bless you, but in Turkish. So give if you want to talk to them. I will definitely give it to you. I'm, I'm going to try and learn it while you're um, You're coming, Vanessa, then. I'll have to get to come over. Give me the tissue, get them. You get your hat, pick yours. Who is that? Like an auntie, Ellen. See you in the public. Damn, damn, oh, my gosh, darling.